Hi, Anthony here. You know the routine, best in the West. This video today will be the um, second part of the famous J ditch. This is the curb and gutter and the sidewalk and the remainder of the J ditch that was left. And my equipment was on other jobs, so um, they sprung this on me. I didn't know when this job was gonna go and I didn't wanna wait around for it. So I booked a bunch of jobs and my equipment was on other jobs. So I called my friend Joe to come and demo it out for me. I wasn't really worried if my equipment was here or he did it for me. My objective was just to get this done and get back to my other jobs that I have all opened up and ready to go. So he came out and demoed this out for me. And um, we had to do it in two pours. We had to do the curb and gutter and the rest of the J ditch in one pour and then come back the next day and pour the sidewalk. So he brought this Kubota out. I didn't get to get on it. I want to do. I haven't tried. I haven't ran one of those. And here's my friend Patrick from Green Tech. He's the one who brought me out here to do this. He did the landscaping and everything. And um, this all ties into the previous J ditch I did. And this has a channel in it for the water all runs off the hill into the J ditch, out the channel, and off we go with the water into the gutter. Work like a dream. So we're setting all this up here. Had to get a couple inspections, uh, uh, compaction inspection, elevation inspection. We had to cut the um, asphalt, which I didn't know we didn't have to do it until after we did it, but sometimes these things happen. I could have cut it right on the curb, on the gutter, and I wouldn't have to come back and uh, my friend wouldn't have to come back and patch it, the asphalt, but I didn't know. I never heard that before, so I uh, automatically assumed we had to cut it. So we're just continually to set this up here. Javier is getting it all ready. I think I had three guys setting it up. This is easier in some residential stuff I do. This isn't, it's pretty easy breezy. It's no big deal. But we had, we couldn't get the angle iron that went into the into the curb because uh, the coronavirus in um, where I was getting it made, they just shut down production. So I couldn't get it. So I didn't know when this job was going to go. So I just signed a bunch of jobs. Here's poor day. Here's Chuck. He's feeling chipper. We had to use a C3250. It's a city's mix, three quarter inch rock. To whenever you do city work, you have to use that mix. That's their design. It's basically what I use and no fly ash. So it's basically what I use. And we kept the, uh, the um, so we could rot it. We kept that template. So we came back to finish this. A lot of people are going to pee on themselves that wanted to see me with a trowel in my hand. There you go. We're shoot pouring this down. We just, uh, however Chuck brought it, we didn't add any water. We just left it that way. I got Javier, Milton, and um, they brought another guy. So we got three guys on this. There's an inspector manual up there. A lot of people think inspectors are overzealous or this or that, but if you know your trades and 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 the um, what your what the laws and codes are, you already know what he's going to say or what he wants. I mean, so I got along with him fine. I didn't have any problem. Thought he was cool. He can't sign off on stuff that doesn't work and lose his job. So I don't have a problem with any inspectors because I already know the, the codes. Here we're finishing this up here, stripping it down. They want a certain broom on it. And they want like a shiner on the gutter to match the existing, this certain um, trowel mark you got to leave on on the gutter and the face and the, um, and the gutter's broom too. And the plans say where to put the joints broom the gutter, broom, broom the curb, the top of the curb, and the sidewalk's broomed. But you got to do it in two pours because there's a channel coming from the J ditch to the gutter. And um, to achieve that, you can use sand and pour on top of the sand and then hose the sand out. But we opted to just use like backing board, like wonder board type stuff because it, it you can't use wood because wood will decompose and rot and expand. So we just you just leave it in there. You'll see when we pour the channel up here. We just put like this wonder board or, or backing board over that channel and then pour on top of it, put the plastic and then the rebar and pour it on top of it. So there the curb and gutters done and the rest of the uh, J ditch. So we're going to set the, set the sidewalk up and pour that, strip everything down and um, this job will be a wrap. See, I didn't show it. The plastic's already over, but it's like backing board on that channel. And then right where my foot is, there's like a gap so the water can come out. 
Emmanuel rechecked all the elevations. He's pretty thorough. He knew what he was doing. Cool guy. So we're shooting this down. This is a C3250, also same mix on the sidewalk, three-quarter inch rock. I didn't have to bring my pump. It's right off the street. The neighbors were nice enough to let us use their hose because we didn't have any water or electricity out there. They let us use their um, electricity and water. There's potential six more of these to do in this neighborhood up around because all these hillsides, the water's running and flooding people's backyards, overfilling their pool. So I think there's potentially six more of these to do. Just rotting this down. Full float it. We'll just put the joints where the plans say. Edge it up real clean. It came out perfect. This is basic. This isn't very hard. Curve and gutter and sidewalk. The J ditch was in the channel was a little, I guess, trickier than the basic curve and gutter. There's three guys on this today. I got some real cool stuff coming up, too. I signed a bunch of stuff. I was just finishing this up. But I didn't know when I was going to come back out here, so... They threw it on me and said, get on it. So I just came in between my stuff and two days on this. We're just strip Milton, Milton stripping everything off. That's a broom on that too, on that walkway. So it all comes off the hill in the J ditch, out the gutter. So they shouldn't have any water issues. The house is down below over there. They were telling me that it was overfilling their pool. The water was just coming off the um, that hillside. Probably they're still in the broom on it. There it is there. There's the best in the West, best on YouTube, best everywhere, evidently. Thank you very much for watching the best in the West.